Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to Yehuda Aquatics. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting subject and that subject is cleaner fish. Now the first thing you want to ask yourself is why do I want a cleaner fish? So, cleaner fish as you can hear in the name actually help you clean your fish tank. Now you still have to do the weekly water changes but they do help here and there. And also, just so you should know, there's two different types of cleaner fish. So it depends what you're looking for. There's scavengers, and then there's algae eaters. So what's the difference between them? So scavengers don't usually clean your glass. They usually just eat the food that the other fish should eat that's stuck to the bottom of the tank. Now this food will just stay there until you clean it. So they do the job for you. Then there's algae eaters, which usually eat the algae off your glass or acrylic, depends on the type of fish tank you have. Now, they're both very helpful. So, it depends what you're looking for, and again, just do your research because there's also different sizes. For example, the most common cleaner fish is the pleco. The pleco is usually sold as an inch long and they get around they grow to around a foot and a foot and a half long. Now if you put them in a small fish tank, it's true they won't grow bigger than the, the fish tank, but the organs never stop growing, which means that their organs are too big for their body. So then it usually gives them a shorter lifespan and they usually get more sicknesses. Now also, there's different types of cleaner fish, right? There's herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. What's the difference between them? So herbivores usually only eat plants, Her omnivores eat plants and meat, and carnivores eat only meat. So before you buy cleaner fish, just do a lot of research. Um, and so just today we're going to talk about all, also the bigger cleaner fish and the smaller cleaner fish. We're also going to talk about different types of scavengers and different types of algae eaters. So the first fish on our list is the Pandagara. Now the Pandagara is a small fish which is around, can get to around 3 to 4 inches long and he you can put in a smaller fish tank. Now he is a omnivore which means he can eat he needs meaty foods and he's also an algae eater which means he does clean your tank, but you also have to give stuff like bloodworms or just give him sinking pellets. Fish on our list is the Corridori catfish. Now the Corridor catfish is a scavenger. He's a small fish which only grows to between an uh, inch and two inches long. Um, so they are actually community fish, which means they can live with other fish. Now, there's many different types of Corridor catfish. So let's say you don't like one type. You don't want to say like don't like the albino or corridor catfish. So there's a much much bigger variety out there. So pretty much there's a corridor catfish for every single person. Cleaner on the list is the shrimp. So there's many different types of shrimp. But there's cherry shrimp. There's ghost shrimp. Um, they all pretty much do the same job and the cleaner fish tank. Um, but they're also scavengers. Um, but they don't need a lot of place. So if you have a small tank, they're really good. And they're actually not fish. They're crustaceans, I think it's called. So now we're going to talk about the big fish. The big fish, so let's start with the most common one, the common pleco. The common pleco is an algae eater. He's a really amazing fish. He does a great job of cleaning your aquarium, but as I said before, he gets massive. He gets around a foot and a foot and a half long. Now if you put him, if you have a small tank, you should probably not get him because it's just not big enough for him. The next fish in the list, he's also an algae eater, is the whiptail catfish. Now the whiptail catfish, um, I don't see in a lot of fish stores, I don't see it commonly. Um, they do get around 8 inches long, they are also algae eaters, they do a really well job. Um, they're very calm and docile fish, they get along with literally every other fish, and they do get eight, like around 8 inches long. So if you have like a medium sized aquarium, these fit for you perfectly. Next fish in our list is the clown loach. The clown loach is a brown-ish, orange-ish, black fish, which is a scavenger, which means, as I said before, he cleans the bottom of your tank, and he also cleans extra stuff that gets stuck in between the rocks and stuff like that. Now, I never saw it personally, but I heard stories where they get massive and like, extremely big. So if you have a big aquarium, then go for these. They're extremely cute, they have a lot of energy, and they're just amazing fish.